I was going to start with Chelsea. We'll start with the game this weekend, Man United versus Tottenham. How are you feeling about it, Kate? Coming to Old Trafford, you don't have a particularly good record there. However, Man United, as ever, are on the skin of our ass, struggling as ever. Are you confident of coming there and getting a result against Ten Hag's flailing men? Um, you, do you know what? I'm scared to say too much, Terry, because you've convinced me into the world of the football gods. But this is probably the most confident I've been going to Old Trafford since Potts was in charge. Um, I think Man United look an absolute shambles. Um, they don't look like a team. They look like a bunch of individuals running around, not knowing what they're really doing. I think Tottenham are starting to get their act together. We could have um, Romero back at the weekend. We could have Mickey van der Ven back the weekend. Then we've got the new signings that have come in, which potentially could be interesting. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be... We've got to take our chances in the first half hour, which I think we will. I think they'll be bang up for it. And, yeah, I am. I'm quietly confident about this weekend's game. I'll be devastated if we don't beat your lot. I'm not going to lie. It'll be a lot of people are suggesting United will lose. Spurs will win comfortably. This could be the end of Ten Hag. Do you see it going that way? Uh, well, you know what it is with, with this this manager, this fraudulent manager you've got, Terry. He's like whenever he's on the brink, he always manages to like get a result and just just keep himself in a job for a little bit longer. And um, he's got one win in the last five Prem games. You know, Newcastle. Um, could go above you. Chelsea could go above you. Wolves could go above you. They're all the teams that could go above you should results go a certain way. I don't know. I, I, listen, obviously Spurs, Spurs are missing a few players. Yeah, they're missing a few players, a few key players, and that's that's really that's really disappointing for them. But I still think they're going to come to your ground with confidence. I think they should come to your ground with confidence. They should go there believing that they can win. And if if they do win, United lose. I just, I just don't know how long this, this, this process with Tenag can, can go on now. Whether or not, because this new guy that's come in, is he just going to sort of like ignore these short-term results and um, maybe give him to the end of the season and then just talk to him at the end of the season? But like, he's got to show something. He's got, he's got to show something, man. So listen, it's a massive game for both teams. I think obviously Spurs as well. They're, they're right there for, for, for the top four race. You know, they're only six points off at the top as well, but no one wants to speak about that. Top four is well within a target range for Spurs. This is a massive game for both teams. Huge game. But if, if United lose, Terry, I mean, how long can, can this man stay in a job? It's... It's, 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 it's a laughing shot, man. I, I actually genuinely feel, yeah, that I had more respect for United when they had Ollie. And that's saying something, man. That guy was a PE teacher as well. So, yeah, big game, big game. I do hear where you're coming from. I, I do hear where you're coming from. He has this ability to pull a result out of nowhere. What's crazy about this league table, if we actually beat Spurs, we'd go on to third. We'd only be five points behind them after they're being lauded for having a great season and we're having maybe one of our worst campaigns in living memory. So there are wins in this Man United team. You look at the form, though. One win in the last five for us, four wins out of the last five for Tottenham, who really have found their feet again. Everything is pointing to a Tottenham win. What are you saying, Roms? What are you saying on this, bro? Like, how, how do you see it going? Do you think United will get humbled? Could it be a beating? Or do you think, a bit like LB is suggesting, that United will just get the job done against Tottenham this weekend? Kind of going off what LB said the minute he said, Ten Hag has this thing where when he's on the brink of potentially, if you don't win this game, you're going to get sacked. He just wins the game. Like Wigan, let's be honest. That was that. And albeit being Wigan, and I think they're in the bottom three of League One or bottom five, whatnot, it was still a high pressure game because of the context of your season, because you're not where you want to be. I think it's 14 defeats already this season for United, 13 or 14. That was a high pressure game. He wins it. Albeit we expected him to, we've expected United to do to win certain games this season well, and they haven't. But this game against Spurs, I think it's very interesting. One thing I'll say is the goals galore. But I can just see Ten Hag just surviving another day and just nicking it. And this isn't because Spurs are a worse team than United. I think Spurs will dominate the ball. I think they'll be better than them in most metrics. But I just think United will... 
I don't know, a count or just a break, and he'll do enough just to pip Spurs. So I would go with United, and it won't be pretty. It'll be it'll be one of them games you come away from it like, how did United win that? But they just do. And the fact they say at Old Trafford, look, I know um, Bournemouth beat you there 3-0. I think that's your last league defeat. And other teams have come in and got shock results. But it still is Old Trafford. I can't ignore that. And some might say, what does that mean? But I just feel Ten Hag will do enough. But you know what? Your next game, he probably then loses that. That is just United to see. I don't know who mm-hmm. it is. But I'm just going to say already, you probably lose it without knowing who the team is. Because that's just United this year. But I just feel they'll nick it. And like LB saying, you've been tasked to believe in the football gods, Terry. What everyone's expecting, majority expecting United not to win. I just feel like that's why you'll win as well. So, yeah, mm. I'm going to give it to United just. Don, mm. what kind of impact is Timo Werner going to have on this game? <laughs> I mean, we're talking about a guy that I wanted out of my club. I had to go look at my tweets again just to remind myself of the pain this guy put me through, man. And I tweeted, I said, I don't want this bum as our main striker next season. Yeah, that was in 2021. I tweeted that, right? And for me, listen, Werner, we don't know what Werner's going to turn up, man. It's, it's, it's a red flag that he went back to the team that we bought him from and already they've got rid of him. Do you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what, what type of Werner we're going to get. I hope it's the Werner that we saw at, at, at Chelsea, obviously. Um, but let's see if Ange can work his magic a little bit for, you know, for UK. But honestly, I just, I just don't see how this man at 28 now, nearly 30, is going to just start, you know, becoming a finisher all of a sudden. So let's see what he does, man. Let's see what he does. Everything else away from the the finishing, he's all right. His movement's good. He's born offside. That's one thing about him. But I don't know, man. This guy's just not going to move, move the needle for me. I don't think. Can I just add on to that, though? We've seen what Ange could do this year with players who, let's be honest, we thought their careers were done and dusted. Your Emerson Royales, your Davis, he's been able to get a tune out of them. Basuma, last season, people saying, oh, is he the same Basuma? He's, albeit, I know he's had injuries and suspensions. He's come back and did well. Richarlison, he's had an upturn in form recently. Ange is able to get a tune out of his players, and that's what the best managers do. You never know. Werner could come into the Spurs team and he's a, he's the Werner we saw at his first spell at Leipzig, the reason why Chelsea bought him. So I think this actually might be a decent little loan spell, spell for Spurs. And I know we look, spoke about before LB. If it doesn't work, it was a loan. Do you know what I mean? It was bad six months and he goes Rums, back. Rums, 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 Rums. Rums. I, I hear you, Rums. I hear you. I hear you. But, go on, go on, go on. Um, <laughs> nah, I, I hear what Rums is saying, but look, I, I can see positives to the Werner sign in terms of he suits Ange's style of play. But let's not get it twisted. This is Timo Werner. Like, we've not forgotten that the years that we watched this guy make love with the offside trap. Like, let's not let's not be silly here. Like, he's always he lives there. That's his he pays rent constantly for that offside trap. He's gonna probably have the record for offside goals in the second half of the season. But let's be fair, he's a, he's one player that does have a purple patch in him. So that purple patch, we don't know what that could end up having Spurs achieve. Top four or or whatever. You never know. Win a tr- actually not win a trophy. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. You never had no purple patches at Chelsea. The, the guy had what 10 goals in the in the Prem the whole time, bro. <laughs> Three seasons. <laughs> he didn't have not, not a single purple patch at Chelsea. I don't know what, what you're watching, Kunle. <laughs> he's got he's got a purple me. patch in him, but I don't yeah, think LB, it's LB, be a good signing LB. overall. Oh, I don't know how I'm muted. Yeah, bro, I was going to say, on that first season, though, yeah, he got six goals, 12 assists for, for, for you guys. Now, I know you'll say, oh, yeah, but he missed a lot of stuff, but that's not bad for a mm-hmm. first season. 18, 18 GNA in his first mm-hmm. year. Yeah, but, the, bro, the amount of chances this guy was missing, though, was ridiculous, man. I'm talking about right in front of goal, yeah? You can just pass it or shoot. He's, he's missing it right in front of goal, bro. Offside, did, like, did, you think that okay, okay, this, this... LB, this, this is a better nah, question. Nah, nah. As, how, as an individual, how, it wasn't good enough, man. How many of you would have taken Werner at your club? Nah, because that's not... Nah, no, 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 no. That's not a good question, bro. I'll tell you what. Yeah, why not? Question. Why not? No, because not? With, with, with the greatest of respect to Spurs, they're not competing like we are. And I say that with the greatest respect. They're trying to build their way up to, to become like, like City, like Liverpool, like Arsenal. They're not. So this is, this is a good signing for them, in my opinion. Mm. Are you saying it with respect? Well, it's, it's not. It doesn't sound respectful, but I do, I, I do mean it in a respectful way. It's the truth, though. Without being horrible to Tottenham, they're not Man City. They're not Arsenal. They're not Liverpool. They're, they're, a, they're a step or two or three below those clubs in terms yeah. of where they are now, historically, trophies. So, no, I, I agree with that. In terms of this game, though, look, I, we'll beat Tottenham. 
we will beat Tottenham this weekend. We will beat them. And this isn't because... Make Tottenham... sure you know. No, I believe we will. I believe we will. People are too confident that Spurs are going to beat us. It's one of those games where we'll win. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even need to break. I'll give you an example of a game like that. People, everyone thought Chelsea were going to come to Old Trafford and smoke us. It's got the same feeling, the same talk. Everybody's laughing at us ahead of time before a ball's kicked. And that upsets the football gods. Spurs are a better team than Man United. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying they're rubbish. They're a better team than Man United. On form, they should beat us. On overall quality this year, they should beat us. But complacency is going to creep in because everyone's acting like they've already won. And as soon as you start doing that in football, you get a smack on the nose. So I'm going um, a narrow Man United win in this game. I'm backing the boys to do it. I don't necessarily want to win because I kind of want Ten Hag gone. It's not why I'm like I, I don't want to, <laughs> but I don't want to win in a really weird place with my club right now. It's horrible. Uh, but I think we will, and I think we will because there'll be a little bit of complacency. Unless no, I agree. Four, in Twenty minutes, Man United will win the game two one. No, I I agree with you, Terry. I I, I think. I, like Ten Hag listens to every day I'm hustling every because this guy is a hustler. On the way to the game on the weekend, he's gonna be pumping the anthem like he usually does when his job's on the line, and he's gonna pull it out the bag. I don't know what this guy did, and the juju, the the, the, uh, the Old Trafford juju is real. Let's not lie. And every now and again, it hook, cooks up a spell, and I think this is gonna be another one this week. As much as I, I hate both clubs. So it's the, one of the most confusing games of my season. I don't care really what happens. I prefer a draw. But unfortunately, I think Man United are just going to edge this one, you know. Do, do you guys remember that video? I think this is the video he plays to the team when he's about to get sacked. Have you ever seen that video of the little bald guy that says, I think I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> I, think <he> plays, <laughs> I, think, I think he plays that video. And they go, oh, we don't, want, we don't want to see him crying outside afterwards with the Glazers chasing him. But yeah, listen, I'm not, a lot of people sound need humbling. I'm not saying we're better than Tottenham. That isn't, none of those words have left my mouth. Yeah, but Terry, the thing is, yeah, you, you, can't, even use, you can't even use us as an example. Like, I know you said, oh, Chelsea, everyone said Chelsea were going to come to Old Trafford and beat you lot, yeah? Pochettino tactically, bro. I didn't think I'll see a worse tactical... Um, uh, game, game, the game, then, uh, then Ten Hag, like he's actually been worse than Ten Hag. I don't see Ange tactically you, being being as bad as Potter. I get you. I think Spurs will look like they did against Wolves in the game. Do you know what, Terry? You will be sitting there. You will all be saying, "Why didn't they attack more?" It's going to be one of them ones for me. It's going to be one of them. I think it's going to be similar to the Villa game. I think Spurs go one up, potentially even two, and we know Ange sticks to his principles. I can see. Look, United have had most success this season with spacing behind. I said after the Villa game, you know, we'll need, lose next week to Forest because Forest give it a go, but they know when to be pragmatic. They know when to park the bus. And look, they got the result. I just feel Spurs will outplay United, probably even go one or two up. But that space in behind, I know some people might say your fours can't finish their dinner, but this might be the game they do. I think Garnacho, Hoyland, Rashford and Anthony and not, whatnot, they're going to relish the space in behind. But this is why I think Van der Ven is key. I think Van der Ven... I know he's not 100% fit, so we probably won't start the game, probably get introduced. But if, if you can have him back, and even if you just see him starting as Spurs fans, I think that will fill you a lot of confidence because he can maybe catch up to that high line. He can maybe cheat. You know, when you give them a yard of space, he's got the ability to catch up with them. But I can see a night nick hey, in this. Can game. I ask you a question, Kate? Because there's a comment here from AJ that says, if Spurs can't beat a mediocre team like United, we have no right even mentioning title race. How embarrassed will you be if Man United beat you at the weekend? Will you feel a sense of embarrassment if that happens? No, I won't be embarrassed because we're going to your place and Old Trafford is Old Trafford at the end of the day, but we are better than you. I'll be embarrassed because your manager's crap and ours, I think, tactically is far superior to yours. You'll be embarrassed. Um, I just think it's hilarious how cocky you are, Terry, that you're just... I'm not, gonna... being, I'm not being cocky. I, well, I, you're, I'm, I'm... you're overly confident you're going to No, be... I'm not. I'm not confident. I'm, I'm confident we're going to fluke it, yeah. I'm not saying we're better than you. That's not confidence. That's just, I see it being one of them like, judge games. It was like, oh, you know, I'm not even worried. I don't even have to talk about it. I just think we're going to win. You know, it's <laughs> um, like, I didn't say I'm not worried. I didn't. Wait, what's all this? Okay. When am I doing this? When did I turn as a Dell boy? Well, I'm not a cockney, but Jesus. <laughs> oh, you know I mean? a little bit of this. 
Oh, I, pound pound there, man. What was what was doing there? I haven't seen anyone, um, any Tottenham fans going around saying, you know, this is going to be easy. We're going to beat them. Not at all. And Ange certainly won't allow complacency within the team. No, but you just said you'd be embarrassed if you don't beat them. So that's no, isn't that the same I thing? No, I would be gutted for our manager because he's better and our team is better. I said, but we're still going to Old Trafford at the end of the day. Well, you definitely said the word embarrassed. You, you said embarrassed the first time okay. round, and then when you were. Uh, Okay, I'm explaining oh, yourself. Brand. You then said, Arrange. Okay. Um, yeah, Jimbo. She's getting lost, Jimbo. So, yeah, Jim. <laughs> Ten Hag is crap, right? At the end of the day. But, I, like I say, I haven't seen any Tottenham fans giving it large saying, you know, this is going to be easy. We're going to walk it. We should beat them. Um, you know, we know where we are. Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, you all think you're better than you are. Tottenham fans, we know where we are, <laughs> apart from the few few that come on uh, the fan reactions that think we're better than we are. But the majority of us know we're at the start of a project and we're building. So, you know, we take each game as it comes. If Van der Ven's back, it's massive. If Dragusin signs and he's playing, it's massive for us. I just... Hoyland's bagging. Hoyland is bagging. Hoyland. Hey, hey, if you're a betting man, I'm not going to lie. Betting man. Yeah. No, Kobe yeah. Mino's first Premier League goal this weekend. What are you not saying? Big, big up. Listen, you want to put a little flutter on? Drop that. No, Drop that. No, cheeky no. tenor. Cheeky tenor. Use the MGM as sponsors today. I think if you top up like 10 quid, they give you £40 free as well. But Golden Goals is free to play. So make sure you sign up to that.